This week on The Aviators, unmatched in maneuverability and stealthy to boot, we're taking a look at the F-22 Raptor. Curtis takes a home-built Sonics aircraft for a spin. This is way more fun than any roller <laughs> And Motley Crue singer Vince Neil takes his first steps to becoming a private pilot. This is a pretty exciting part of my life. This is pretty cool. Checklist complete. For many of you watching this right now, you probably think the idea of having your very own aircraft is completely out of reach. But what if I told you that for less than the price of a new car, you can have any one of these aircraft to fly whenever you like? The Sonics Aircraft Corporation specializes in making good flying, affordable aircraft that you construct at home yourself. And they've got a model for every pilot. If you're a new pilot, or maybe you haven't even learned to fly yet, they have a tricycle gear model that's easy to take off and land, but still sporty to fly in the sky. And if Wild's a little more of your flavor, the Sport Acro model is fully aerobatic. Today, we're gonna go for a ride in the Sport Trainer, and we're gonna show you what it takes to put one of these together. Sonic's founder, John Monette, has been involved in the home-built and kit-built aircraft community for more than 40 years. His aircraft designs have set records, been featured in magazines, and even hang in the Smithsonian. While he's designed and built many different types of aircraft over the years, with Sonics, John has strived to create fun, light aircraft at a price that most people can afford. The gamut that exists in home-built aircraft now, from you can build your own, you know, pressurized jets, to the fact that now you have things in the low end of the market that don't really have frames and you sit in a bicycle seat. Where does Sonics really fit in the <laughs> gamut of home-built aircraft? Well, I, I think it fits in the, in, the, in the bracket of where it is an affordable uh, airplane to have that has a really good performance for the dollar. That's, that's the biggest thing. Uh, it, it is achievable. Uh, either, like the Sonics can be completely scratch built. With the original Sonics aircraft model, individuals can choose to scratch build the aircraft. This means Sonics provides the plans and it's up to the builder to manufacture most of the individual parts themselves. Alternatively, you can buy the Sonics or any of the company's other models as complete kits. You can even get a kit to build your own engine, a simple 2-liter Volkswagen engine derivative adapted by Sonics for use in an airplane. To help builders along, Sonics also has workshops at their Oshkosh facility where builders can learn all of the techniques necessary to build their airplane. As a family company, John's son Jeremy serves as CEO and had a chance to fly with Curtis in the sport trainer model of the Sonics. Just let it accelerate down the runway. That's full throttle right there, all right? 50 miles an hour. There's 60 miles an hour. Slowly start to rotate. And away we go. So what kind of compromises are involved to make an aircraft both affordable and easy to assemble, but at the end of the day, you want to end up with a good flying airplane? Well, the, the compromise, well, you know, if you really look at the Sonics, it's a, it's a box. Uh, this is something we developed with the Monix Racer. It's just simply a, a box of stretch. Now, all the guys that have built radio control models in the past, you know, you know those original uh, balsa wood airplanes were just boxes. And then we put a round canopy on it and a nice looking cowling, and all of a sudden we have something that looks like an airfoil. So that's one of the things that we found that to get a lot of performance out of the airplane. And yet, because it's a box, it's real easy to construct. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of curves, etc. cetera. Uh, we use the flat bottom of the, of the fuselage to actually generate lift to where we get our low stall speeds. And a lot, of, a lot of people don't understand that, but when, when you really look at the airplane stand back, you see, hey, it's a wing. And uh, that's, that's one of the compromises. The other thing is that, that you know, in order to make it economical, the, the tool investment has to be cheap. Uh, so the, the, an, a guy with normal hand tools, and if you look around our shop, you see we well, just have a drill press and a couple of grinders and, and, and stuff, and we, we build our airplanes that way. In addition to the fact that you can build one of these aircraft in your own backyard, all of Sonic's current models fall into the light sport category. This means that if you're not a pilot, the amount of time needed to get a sport pilot license and be able to fly these aircraft is a lot less than it might be with a larger, more powerful home-built aircraft. 
With all of Sonix's aircraft also being aerobatic, this is the type of plane where you could head out by yourself or with one other person and have some real fun around your local airport. So go ahead and start our turn, all right? As steep as you want. Go over to our 60 degree back. back. Really good. A little fall. Look at that. Just, and the, the airport has enough energy. It feels like we could sit here all day. But we won't. So we try to the left? Uh-huh. Very good. So again, the Curtis has had zero time in this, so it's kind of fun to see him yanking and banking on it. Which is what this airplane really feels like it wants to do, Jerry. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're down to 50 miles an hour, it still feels like it's bulletproof. The Sonics design Curtis is flying is definitely the backbone of Sonics's offerings. However, simply having one aircraft kit available was never good enough for Sonics. And now they have a Y-tail model, a motor glider, and the 1X, a single-seat aircraft with folding wings that you can tow behind a car. But despite being a small company, Sonics continues to have a very active research and development division who are constantly dreaming up new and innovative home-built aircraft. This includes an electric-powered aircraft and the company's biggest project, a jet-powered kit airplane that one day you may be able to build at home. The challenge is to keep things affordable, keep them safe, so that we can continue doing what we do for a long time. And we, we have some more innovations. You know, we have other, other designs rattling around that uh, not only I, but uh, Jeremy and our design team are working with. And uh, that's really important. So uh, again, it's, it's affordable flying. The electric will be a big uh, component of that. You know, uh, in the near future, I would hope that there'd be squadrons of jets flying around, which would be all hilarious. Uh, it'd be a lot of fun. This is way more fun than any roller coaster. <laughs> this is what we fly for right here, everybody. I absolutely love this stuff.